Watch the mud. Hi. Good to see you. My name is Kelly Kiesling. I'm here from Long Island, New York. I've always grown up with Rottweilers, and it's, that's another breed that's kind of has the stigma, so it kind of got me into pit bulls. Okay. Ugh. Kelly isn't just one of our average adopters. She is actually a former and repeat volunteer, so she's very familiar with a lot of our dogs and how we do things here at Villalobos. I came here for the first time nine months ago because I know there's such a need down here. I always wanted to help out and do what I can, so I came to the city, and it's been a great experience. I know you met Mittens during your first time here or your second time here? First time. Okay. When I came here to Via Lobos, the first thing that somebody said to me was, you're going to fall in love with the dog. And I didn't believe them because there's 400 dogs there. And then I met Mittens about 15 minutes later, and uh, it was pretty much all downhill from there. So you've been in love that long? Yeah. You've been having that, having a long distance relationship for that <laughs> Yes, it's been quite a while. Wow. <laughs> Mittens was one of a handful of dogs that we rescued through parole on a warrant raid. Mittens was chained up in the backyard. Come on, come on. And despite the situation he was in, as I approached him, all I saw was his little tail, this wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Real sweet dog. Mittens was going through heartworm treatment at the time. You know, that could take months, and it really just put him through the ringer. But Mittens is in perfect health now, and the fact that Kelly was, you know, willing to patiently wait for him all this time, it says a lot about her dedication to Mittens. You know, you said you were in a serious relationship. And yeah, you know what? I, him and I were supposed to be adopting mittens together and moving oh, I didn't in. didn't know that. But then we broke up. You know, I've been going through some, some rough times and I was disappointed by somebody that I thought was going to be there for me. And now I get to do this myself and mittens is kind of going to be my partner in crime. I think part of the reason why I'm so drawn to him is because of his past, because he was treated like I would never treat a dog. And, you know, he's still such a happy, friendly, people-loving dog, and he's so resilient and still just so happy and grateful. And He's taught me more about love and loyalty than any other human has. So, uh, yeah, I really think he is rescuing me just as much as I'm rescuing him. You know, just having a dog as your as your other half, it just, you it's can't perfect. go wrong. You yeah, know, they're, exactly. they're loyal unconditionally, they're devoted unconditionally, they love you unconditionally. As a mom, it was comforting to know that my daughters had these dogs by their side at all times. Mittens, okay, he's cute, but he's gonna be Kelly's new man. And there's nothing that makes you feel safer than the companionship of a dog. To me, it's like the ultimate love story. It's the ultimate fairy tale. Okay, so then um, I'm gonna bring up <laughs> your boy. You know, Mittens hasn't seen Kelly in months. He's been through a tough round of medical treatment. So at this point, who knows if he and Kelly are gonna have that same connection that they've had before. Somebody. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Nuggets. <laughs> Hi. Hi, oh, there you are. Hi, baby. <laughs> I remember you. I remember you now. I remember you. As soon as he came out, I, it was amazing. You know, he's the perfect dog, and so it was great to know that he felt the same way. He sat right on top of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well. Hey, buddy. He's just so happy. He is. He is. He's and you know, that's dog. kind of what I need right yeah. now. And somebody that'll sit on my lap all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. It's been a long way. It's been a long time. It feels amazing knowing that he's as excited as I am. And I've waited so long for him to, for this to actually happen, but it's real now. I'm assuming this is the guy you still want. Just... <laughs> I hope you're ready for the cold. He says, but I got my mittens, so I'm ready for New York. He's got a little mittens. Mittens, mittens. Has mittens. You could just see the sparks rekindling, and it was like Kelly and mittens had never been apart. Come on. No, no, you, you walked in here very polite. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed with the hope that everything goes well with his home check and that this will become his forever home. Hi. Hi. Today I'm feeling so incredibly excited. It's been such a long wait. I met Mittens nine months ago, so three trips to New Orleans and one round of heartworm treatment later, he's finally here, so it's, it's very exciting. Well, we have your man. Yay. <laughs> I think Mittens came in a perfect time. I've, I've gone through some rough stuff, so he's uh, he's come in a great time. He's gonna give me the love that I, you know, I was looking for, and I couldn't find it. Oh, it's really nice. Thank you. Whoa, Kelly's house was great. It was 
perfectly nice, but usually the most important thing is the backyard. Whoa, big, huge, nice oh, yard. Oh yeah, that's a nice yard. Her backyard is huge and it's absolutely beautiful. All new fencing. Wow. This is like um, an ideal fence because you can't see through mm -hmm. or anything like that. The fence looked really high, which is a good thing, and it looked really sturdy and secure, which is an even better thing. Mittens won't be able to see out and maybe be stimulated by something that he would want to chase. Yeah, this is a great <laughs> yard. Whoa, Mittens is coming up. <laughs> and I know that Mittens is going to have a blast. So I'm going to go grab him and bring him straight out here. OK. Kelly has been waiting for almost a year for Mittens. It's like, I don't think we've ever had anybody wait that long. You know, I want him to be comfortable and to be happy, and I want him to feel like he's welcome, and I want him to feel like he's at home. Sorry, I'm like getting. Um, I want him to feel like this is where he's gonna stay. Hey, buddy. Amazing, you know, he, he just seemed so happy already. Cute. I think he knew that he was home and knew that that was his yard. You could definitely tell. Why? <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The last yard the mittens came from, he was chained to the wall, and now he's free to do whatever he wants. Are you <laughs> serious, mittens? This is adorable. I've never, ever, ever seen him as happy as I saw him. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. He's so happy. What are you going to do when it's gone? When it's in pieces? to ruin another one. <laughs> mittens did great in the yard. Now we just have to see how he does inside. You want up? Do you want to see what this is all about? Who you want? Okay. What do you think? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I like that. Hey? I've bought all these things months in advance. You know, I've been so excited. So to finally be able to have a dog to be able to use them is uh, is pretty pretty great. Cute. And then you have nuts. Yeah. Same one. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can wear matching outfits. <laughs> and then I come from a family of firemen. Oh, awesome. So I had to have it. That's really cool. It's, it's very cold here compared to where he's from. You need it cold. Yeah. What do you think? Again, it just shows how much she really loves him. Hi, baby. What do you think, Mittens? Are you good? I think so. <laughs> it's definitely surreal finally having him here. It's, it's been a very long wait and a very long road. And, uh, you know, I could have picked any dog and had him months ago. But those dogs aren't Mittens. Bye. All right, Mittens. You got a good mom. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Thanks. Thank you. I definitely know what it's like to, you know, be single or maybe go through some heartbreak. And then you just kind of feel a little bit stronger knowing that you have your true love, your dog that's next to you. He's so happy. I know.